Hey everyone. If you've been following my channel, you know that uh, I do enjoy the Christmas season. Uh, and I recently put out a bunch of uh, Christmas carols that I enjoyed as a kid recently. And just why I enjoyed them. So I want to share them with you in one big compilation. But I'm going to add a few that weren't included in the original ten. So, but to cut through so I can at least put, you know, something up here to show some images, I will go real quick through the 10 I gave, and then I'll throw out a few more of the honorable mentions. So, uh, not in an order of preference ranking or anything like that, but, uh, you know, one of the ones I enjoyed as a kid, and I still enjoy hearing on the radio, is Snoopy's Christmas by the Royal, Scar Royal Guardsmen. Uh, as a kid growing up, you always had the Snoopy cartoons where Snoopy's flying his doghouse around, and so, Snoop Snoopy's Christmas uh, with the Red Baron and having a holiday toast. So, I always enjoyed that as a kid back in the 80s, so I still enjoy it. And then I moved on to uh, uh, some more videos. I can't even remember the order I put them in, so I'm just going to put them out here. So, as a Canadian, uh, Bob and Doug McKenzie started as a skit on SCTV. They put out a movie, uh, stuff like that. They're from the Great White North. Uh, and they call everyone hoser. But they put out a 12 beers of Christmas. And what's really funny is some of the beers they talk about kind of dates it. And that's, I guess, part of the comedy value to me of that song now. And uh, But I really enjoy it, so go check it out. Again, putting stuff up there. So you can go click on links and check out their videos. Now, the other side of the world, we have uh, Kevin Bloody Wilson down in Australia. And, you know, this is a not, a, not quite a family-friendly uh, song, but Hey Santa is what probably every kid thinks uh, that maybe they need to say to Santa after Christmas. And that's all part of it. So, Hey Santa, Kevin Bloody Wilson is a fun one uh, to try out. Now, while we're down in Australia, Six White Boomers was a song I enjoyed as a kid, learned it in grade school, we sang it at a little Christmas choir, stuff like that. And it's about what happens when Santa from the North Pole heads to the Southern Hemisphere. And I just thought that was fun. And I didn't realize, uh, until we moved our kids uh, back to BC, uh, when the military moved us, that it wasn't common in the East. So the first time my kids actually heard about it was when we lived in, in BC. So that was kind of cool. Uh, and I just thought, uh, <clears throat> you know, Six White Boomers is a fun Christmas song. You know, about a little kangaroo taken from a zoo, and down to Australia he goes. <clears throat> so also another one uh, that was grade school was uh, from Barry Gordon. This school is way back, I think, for what I've been able to find, first recorded in the 60s. It's always fun when you're a kid being able to say nothing and uh, kind of get away without, without being corrected, say, with by your parents and teachers going, nothing. No, it's nothing, because I'm getting nothing for Christmas. Um, and maybe mommy and daddy are mad because of, you know, your, your terrible grammar. Anyway, uh, this one actually has been remade by the likes of Miranda Lambert uh, and uh, uh, another recent uh, country artist, which I name escapes me all of a sudden, so I'll put the links down in the description. Uh, if I haven't already said that, all the links for all these songs will be down in the description. So feel free to check them out. But I just wanted to share that Nothing for Christmas was a fun song as a kid. I still do enjoy it now. Um, social media has brought out a lot uh, of songs and allows artists to get way more traction. And this one came across my social media feed a couple years ago. I really like the arrangement. It's from For King and Country, Little Drummer Boy. They look to be like a percussion uh, band with a lot of drums. And it's a very cool rendition that I, this, the first video has great intensity that I really enjoy. Uh, but I've also included their music video, which is quite touching um, without quite the same intensity. But Little Drummer Boy, For King and Country. Um, now, uh, some of the songs, you know, especially when you get into local, regional stuff. Uh, I have a song here from a friend, and even today, I saw a post on social media, you know, where you have that, 
you know, the, the uh, half-torn underwear and socks with holes in them going, hold in there guys, only a few more days till Christmas. And those ones uh, I do get a kick out of because my friend wrote a song and put it on the local Christmas Daddy's Telethon uh, this year in 2022. Uh, so it's from my friend Brian Doucette, and it's Boxers and Socks talking about getting your socks and underwear as Christmas presents. So, that's pretty cool. Now, Brian considered himself a rocker, so I'm going to keep that rock theme going. And as an 80s kid, uh, you know, being that teenager, I mean, slightly rebellious, so you're listening to Twisted Sister. Well, they, they would still play, and about 15 years ago, they put out some Christmas songs. Because they discovered that Oh Come All Ye Faithful has a very similar music track to one of their songs, We're Not Gonna Take It. So I hope you uh, check out their, their video, you know, uh, and uh, links all the links in the description, as well as they'll drop in the cards. And, uh, you know, check out uh, Oh Come All Ye Faithful by Twisted Sister. We only got a couple left that I did the shorts on, uh, but... You know, one of the true classics is the Irish Rovers, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Now, this is an interesting one, because uh, it's been remade in different versions by a lot of people. But I still truly like the original. So, please check that one out. And now, the one that just came out uh, Christmas Eve, uh, which will be yesterday when this comes out, is uh, one of my personal favorites uh, nowadays. It's from a local Nova Scotia artist, Dave Gunning. And he does one, it's called Daddy's Beer. And so message to all the dads out there uh, on Christmas Eve. Um, you know, you don't want to be stuck in bed Christmas morning because Santa drank all Daddy's beer. Because, uh, you know, because then when Mom has to explain why you're so distraught and have to stay in bed, you know, because Santa drank all your beer. That's just horrible. You don't want that to happen. So anyway, those were the 10 videos I just put out. But now I want to throw in some honorable mentions. Um... Years ago, I, you know, my uh, for my birthday once, uh, wife and kids got me tickets when uh, Jeff Foxworthy, Bill Ingvall, Larry the Cable Guy, they had their uh, redneck tour uh, go, going through town and it came to Halifax, so I got some tickets. And I've been a fan of those guys, and they have some Christmas stuff too. So Jeff Foxworthy does a uh, 12 redneck days of Christmas uh, where, you know, Four big mud tires, you know, typically redneck stuff that's always entertaining. So, link in the description on that one too. All these links, they're all right there. And anyway, the other one was the Billy Ingvall, Here's Your Sign Christmas. Uh, because that one really strikes a chord because you always have those stupid questions. You know, what are you doing with the wreath? Well, I thought I'd wear it as a hat. You know, because hey, this might be Hawaii. You never know. Anyway. There's two honorable mentions, 10 thick videos I talked about, so I hope everyone has a Merry Christmas and enjoy some of these uh, songs that I'm hoping many of you probably are hearing for the first time. So, enjoy. Have a great day.